Hi everyone, Logan here from OnePlus Armor. I've got the new Tau KV-128 Storm Surge here. Just wanted to do a quick unboxing. Uh, this thing just got released yesterday, but the rules have been out on the internet for some time through the weeks. Uh, as far as I know, this is basically, on the box, is about the size it is. So this guy is supposedly about the size of an Imperial Knight. Um, if you don't know how big it is for reference, I'm just going to grab a Riptide. So, assuming, cause I know this thing's on the Imperial Knight base, so here's the comparison. So if you're worried about bang for your buck just in terms of model size, that doesn't really seem to be a problem. So with that in mind, let's pull this thing open, see what we get in the box, and uh, have a quick chat about it. So the box itself, it's the new style, uh, not the old stuff, so pictures. Uh, the thing has the two different guns, which are very, very similar, so presumably it's going to be possible to magnetize them, and we'll find out. All the weapons, weapons options are there. You have the destroyer missiles, your uh, weapons you can upgrade. Uh, of course, the usual recommendations for painting and whatnot. And it looks like there's a little, <laughs> a little outline of the size there. I'm guessing that's a, a, a crisis suit there. So, pulling this thing open, we got a couple screws. So, first off, yep, that's everything in the box. We do have the Imperial Knight sized base, which I think is uh, like 205 by so, something or other millimeters. Looks like we've got full color instructions for probably the first time I think I've ever seen this. So, looks like the usual level of detail. Um, looks like the legs from this are very, very similar to the Riptide kit, but presumably much bigger. In fact, the whole torso looks almost exactly the same. So, that'll be interesting. Looks like there's two options as well for the uh, stabilizers. won't spend too much time on this, but as you can see, the cockpit is there the way that uh, the pictures were showing. So you got your two pilots sitting inside the suit. And then we've got the rules for them in uh, multiple languages. So it looks like this is the same thing that was outlined in the, in the White Dwarf. So we've got our Pulse Blast Cannon, Twin Link Smart Missile System, Cluster Rocket System, four Destroyer Missiles, and the Twin Link Flamer. Stabilizing anchors look the same. Yep. Uh, again, you can have three storm surges in one unit as a Lord of War. It's still a gargantuan creature. You can change your twin linked flamer for a burst cannon or air bursting fragmentation projector. Uh, you can change your blast cannon for a driver cannon for five points, and you can take three items from the support systems list. Uh, at this point, we still don't know if the support systems list is going to be different, but we'll find out pretty soon because the codex is only a few weeks away. And just a couple pictures on the back. So for the actual sprues, pretty much the same as always. Looks like we got three sprues for this kit, but it does look pretty darn big. I mean, this is just the back end of the gun, and that's almost the size of my finger. Next up, we got the legs. So again, let's compare these. This is for the this is for the uh, storm surge, and that's the same leg piece that's next to it on the Riptide there. So you can see it's a hell of a lot bigger. So this thing's going to be a big suit when it gets put together. And then we've got the decal sheet. This is what people were talking about for outlining the other new models. So I'll try to get this in focus. So we've got the XV-85 Enforcer Battle Suit, the X-86 Cold Star, neither of which we've seen yet, the XV-95 Ghost Kill, which you've seen rules for, the Riptide, of course, the xv Crisis, Stealth, Broadside, and then we got the Storm Surge here, and then the Strike Team. Uh, and then the breachers down here. So I think at this point we still have to see what the strike team is and the XV-85 and 86. So once we get that, I'll probably have those as well. Uh, then we got the rest of the gun here. So as you can see, this is huge, like <laughs> middle finger length of gun. So pretty damn big. And again, that's just the front of the barrel. Compare that to the Riptide. It's, it's going to be big. So that is what we've got for the new Storm Surge. I'm hoping to get it put together over the next few days. And once we got that, we'll uh, show it put together, probably have it in a couple of battle reports, and probably take a couple of weeks to paint it because I'm in no big rush, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below, and be sure to check out uh, other battle reports and unboxings and whatnot on the channel.